Hey guys, welcome to Daniel G on Talk and first video of the year, KGF Chapter 2, the sequel of my favorite film from Canada. I'm pretty, pretty interested to see what they're going to do with this one, mostly because Sanjay Dutt is in the film and uh, yeah. So without further ado, let's get into it. Sanjay Dutt with the big ass sword. Powerful people make places. All right, rolling with the fifty cal. Coming soon to theaters, oh, wow. Not in this country, not in Los Angeles. Knowing that the film is a 100 crore film, the budget's gonna be in the action, there's just no doubt about that. So from that perspective, I'm always excited to see what action scenes come about. I'm just praying that this time there's some coherence with the action scenes because in the first one there was no coherence, there was edits like every five seconds, there was no story, I mean it was it was the terrible film, a terrible movie. If you want me to go into explaining why it was a terrible movie, you can watch the video that's popped up on the screen. But with this one, I don't know what the story is again. I don't know, is he going to live up to the promise he made to his mother that he's going to be this great person? I don't even remember what the promise was actually. I'm just assuming that because again the movie really did suck i mean it started off kind of interesting but it was like very just fast cutting and then it ends with like a indiana jones in the temple of doom style ending which i know it's gonna offend some people because people don't like that movie but whatever anyway and, it, and it's, it's like some fighting fire pit thing I, I don't even know by that point i was so out of the movie i didn't care anymore but Every movie should be judged upon their own merits, and to be honest, it's just nice to see something with budget being put out that's new, because it's going to be a while, uh, for those who don't know, or you guys have been under a rock or something, and we're in a pandemic, and there's not big films being made right now, so the fact that this movie was being shot, and it's going to be, it was pretty much done when the, when the pandemic hit, so to see it, regardless of how it comes out, is actually something that I'm looking forward to, regardless of how I like it or not. Same thing with Wonder Woman, like these big movies that were filmed already, regardless if they turned out to be good or not, it's just nice to see something new. So from that perspective, I'm excited. I'd like to know what you guys thought of it. And uh, before I let you guys go, just some housekeeping notes for the channel itself, for those who are longtime followers, subscribers, all of the above. Uh, excuse the echo, we're in a new space and we will be posting video updates as we go along and we build this space up that you're seeing into a full-fledged studio and you'll be able to see that whole process from start to finish i'm in the process of building a brand new podcast table to all of my specifications it's going to be ready for a podcast and again how to's all that stuff so you can see what we do i'm going to sound tr sound treat the room so it's going to sound like not an echo and again 
you guys are gonna come along for the ride to see the whole process because this is gonna be the new temporary studio for now. And uh, yeah, it'll be interesting to see what comes of it in the coming months. And uh, if there's any other videos that I've missed, because I think this is the first video we posted in over two and a half months, please let me know in the comments. Let me know in the comments what you guys thought of it. I'm very curious to hear what you have to say because yeah, pretty much I'm sure you guys know what I had to say about this film. I mean, even the production company actually reached out to Gian and I and wanted us to do this uh, reaction. So probably gonna disappoint them because I don't know, they were expecting me to love the trailer because uh, I love the first trailer. I don't know. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. We'll see you on the next one and uh, hopefully it won't be two and a half months before then.